like and subscribe. How do you deal with a wife that gives you about you working long hours? I'm an engineer, and I work to remote jobs making 230k plus. She has everything provided for her, I pay all the bills. Usually I work 12 hours a day, and also help out with chores around the house. We go out in the weekend, and eat out very often, if not every other day. She has this attitude and a chip on her shoulder about my work schedule. Today I just had it with her. After an entire work day yesterday, I had to spend the rest of the night working, and finally went to sleep at 1pm today. I wake up and voila, she literally ignored me, and walked past me, when she saw me, and has been giving me the cold shoulder since then. She works a remote job making 36k a year, and spends probably 300, 400 dollar signer MO on groceries. I pay another 600 for groceries at least, and fat hours without all the takeouts and eating out. I dollar at go chill with the boys or ever. <laughs> Around and waste time. If I have free time I'll either be with her or watch a show by myself. We just bought a house recently, and also had a wedding, where I spent 30k, and emptied my savings. There is no way I can quit the second job, because we don't have any savings, and I do not want to ever risk a mortgage payment. Today she told me you are so self-absorbed with your work, why did you even get married? I literally did not get a minute of sleep or even have dinner, I get my work done, and never complain about work to anybody, or bring work discussions to the table at home. I don't believe I have ever met such an uncompromising person. This is the same woman who made me give away my dog cause she did not like dogs, and I never once made her feel bad about it. You make 230k a year and only had 30k in savings? Did you know her, before you married her? It doesn't sound like you did. If op married the most uncompromising woman Hela's ever met, I start to have questions toward his own attitude. Thero has no way, that stuff went unnoticed, before they got married. TBH this just seems like a train of bad choices. Why did you spend all your savings on the wedding? Why did you get into a mortgage that forces you to make 230k? Why do you spend 1k a month on groceries, on top of eating out? And most importantly, why did you marry someone who asked you to get rid of your dog? I think you need to reconsider your choices, at least the financial ones. Working such long hours is not healthy for anyone in the long term. You make dollar sign 230k a year, and had to empty your savings of dollar sign 30k for your wedding, and are worried about your mortgage payment? UHH something doesn't add up. Does she just spend all your finances elsewhere? It seems like you could reasonably give up one of your remote jobs to spend more time with her, although I'm sure there are 100 more underlying reasons for the relationship dynamic. I understand your feelings of responsibility. You need to talk to her about it. Maybe take a day off. I know, I know. But what is your marriage worth to you? As uncomfortable as it will be, you have to have this conversation. I'm a woman. A woman who is divorced from a man who had no time for me. I always worked, and I would have happily downgraded a lifestyle to have my husband with me. Ten years later, and for more reasons than that one, I still feel I made the right decision. I've got nothing bad to say about him, he's a good man. But I gotta tell you, it still <laughs> s me off that we could have had an amazing life together if he had just made time for us. So please, make time, tell her how you feel. How tired you are, how the responsibility weighs on you, how you want to do the right thing. And then listen. Listen to how she feels. And the two of you make decisions on how you both want to move forward, how you want your future together to be. Make the time honey, it will be worth it. Why did you marry someone you apparently aren't compatible with, and don't really like? So many red flags for both of you in that relationship, seemingly even before y'all got married. So, yeah, why? Backslash, there is no way I can quit the second job, because we don't have any savings, and I do not want to ever risk a mortgage payment. You make dollar sign 230k plus, and put yourself in a mortgage situation where making less than that might mean missing a payment? The 
is wrong with you? Maybe she doesn't want this 230k plus mortgage to the gill's life. Backslash. Today she told me you are so self-absorbed with your work, why did you even get married? I literally did not get a minute of sleep or even have dinner. Exactly. How are you this thick? She doesn't want you to have to miss sleep or dinner. Why did you get married? It wouldn't be so bad, if you were frugal, and trying to work towards an early retirement, but you're giving everything you have to your career, and neglecting your marriage, just to have the biggest house you can possibly afford. Never ever give up your dog for a woman a dog is loving loyal honest and your best friend ever. You should have seen what she is like by her asking you to give up your dog. Immo there has to be an end in sight, working 60 plus hours a week or year long is not sustainable for a happy relationship. I have 2 months a year, where I work 70 to 80 hours a week and I don't know it see my family much, and my wife knew this, before we got married. We half jokingly call her a harvest widow during this period, but she knows there is a light at the end of the tunnel. The rest of the year, and if I can during harvest I sneak out early, and make time to put family first. It I know it's easy, but the way I look at it is, if I am not happy at home, and productive there I probably wanna be happy and productive at work. Work to live, not live to work. My advice would be, to commit to time, that is focused on you guys, and make sure you live up to it. Unplug and live in the now. Best of luck to you marriage I know it easy, it takes work and effort just like a job does. Sell the house buy something you can afford with one job spend more time with your family drop this toxic grind you don't need to be rich to be healthy you made a big mistake living well above your means and not keeping any savings you managed your money poorly and you can either suffer financial consequence or family consequence you choose the dog thing is bull but that's a separate issue Sounds like you think you deserve to be right because you make more money. From her point of view, she just wants more time with her husband. But you aren't giving her that, because you have to make money. Let's say each of your jobs makes dollar sign 115k, and you leave one. Your household income is dollar sign 150k. If you'd be struggling at this income, even in a HCOL area, then you're way too house poor. Regardless, sounds like you need marriage counseling. It doesn't sound like they have kids. 1000 slash MO on groceries, on top of dining out, and he says he skips dinners? How tf does that math work? When you're so works like crazy, it is hard. I feel that she resents being left alone, and you resent her for not having time for yourself, and for paying for everything. It is on you though, if you are not happy with it, dominant blame her, just stop doing it period. Try not to focus on the money part, because that is kind of an asshole move. Telling people they should not feel only or miss you, because you pay everything for them is horrible. I have been in this situation, and it does take very little effort, to validate your partner's feelings, make them heard, and make space for them maybe once a week. It can go a long way. Very well said. She's upset cause she loves him and misses him. No one wants to be second fiddle to a job. Just communicate. Jesus Christ, voice your feelings to one another. Why is this so hard for everyone? I often feel like I'm on crazy pills. The answer is literally asterisk r i g h t in front of you. Asterisk so why can't you see it? 300, 400 dollar signer MO on groceries. I pay another 600 for groceries at least, and that is without all the takeouts and eating out. What the? Are you two eating? I live in a high coal area, where the grocery bill was frankly shocking, when I moved here from another major US city and my partner and I would be hard pressed to spend this much on groceries. I pay all the bills. Do you really? You later state, that she does pay for some of the groceries. What else is she paying for? We go out in the weekend, and eat out very often, if not every other day. Is this because she's asking you to go out to eat, or is it, because you don't have time to deal with the food situation and that's easier? 
we just bought a house recently, and also had a wedding, where I spent 30k, and emptied my savings. Did she ask for this, or did you do this, because you wanted a nice house and or to keep up appearances? I literally did not get a minute of sleep or even have dinner. This doesn't sound healthy at all, and if my partner made a habit of this, I would be annoyed at them for not taking care of themselves. Sometimes, this is unavoidable, but if it happens regularly, you probably need to reassess your life and priorities. This is the same woman who made me give away my dog cause she did not like dogs, and I never once made her feel bad about it. This is the one really ed up thing here, but from what I've read above and now this, it seems like you make bad decisions both in your financial life and your personal life. I don't know if your partner is demanding all of the things you've stated you do for her from you, or if you are taking hints and social norms and going overboard with all of them, but either way, I think some help with your spending would do a lot for your resentment here. Try going to slash r slash personal finance, learning to budget and think about your future when you make big financial or career decisions, and maybe seek help on communication with your wife. I feel your story is bull. Because the math doesn't add up, but, for anyone who is in a similar situation, it's not about money and being taken care of. It's cool to take care of your wife financially, if that's what you want to do, but she's not there, just to be financially taken care of. She might actually like you, and want to spend time with you. My wife gets Wife I work too much, because it's not about bringing money home, it's also wanting to spend time with me. Not going out to eat dinner then back home, time. Time away, time doing other things, focusing on her and interacting. Try out some board games, or finding a game you can play at a park, box ball for example. As for the last comment, she didn't make you give away your dogs. You chose to do that. From the sounds of it, you're kinda a person too, real story or fake. That must be really hard to have a wife that wants to spend time with you. Sorry. This is not going to be solved with a reddit post. She is never going to feel loved if you have to work a crazy amount of hours and her love language I am guessing is quality time. If you want a happy marriage you are both going to need to look at your employment, lifestyle slash expenses, and consider counseling to discuss what you both want out of life and ways both your needs and her needs can be met going forward. Or cut your losses and get divorced, and work as many hours as you want. Money's not everything. You quote salary and expenses a lot. But, no one's ever been on their deathbed, and said I wish I'd spent less time with my family and more time at work. By your own admission you're working a lot of hours. You paying the bills and... Doesn't mean much, if you don't have time for the two of you. My wife makes more than me. She has a work from home accounting job. She used to work 12 hour days, sometimes working on Saturdays. I pointed out to her a few times, how much her work interfered with our time together, and she realized her work schedule was negatively impacting the relationship. Okay so I'm kinda in the same situation as you, but I have a girlfriend who fully supports me and my goals, which are mostly work related. I'm the breadwinner, and she understands her role is mostly, to help support the household, while I support the finances. I am helping her pay off her debt by not charging her rent slash utilities, and she is taking care of the houses, and helping prepare meals. It sounds like your duties are misaligned, and she is under the impression you should be dedicating more time to her. Maybe in your mind you are feeling, like you spend time with her, but maybe to her she feels more like a roommate. Maybe dedicate one night a week or every other week for a date night, where you go out and do something with her only. It is important to give her time and have time to yourself and your buddies. I totally understand needing your own time with you and your buddies. Maybe discuss with her as well and see if Shena would be satisfied with that agreement. If not, maybe she honestly needs someone who is more focused on her than their career. You've been visited by the ghost of a very important man. Pay your respects by liking and subscribing, and he'll grant you three weeks of good luck of good luck of good luck.